Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the amazing Canvas Inbox tool. So in our past learning management system, It's Learning, It's Learning had a tool that was a little bit more like an instant messenger. And in Canvas, you have a similar tool, though it does have more of an inbox email type of feel to it. The beauty of the Canvas tool is that you have many options in how you can respond to students, how you can organize your messages and keep everything nice and tidy to your preferences. So to access the Canvas inbox tool, first you need to sign in using your BCSE credentials. And if I'm over here on my Canvas sign-in screen, there's a button that says inbox and that's how I get to all of my messages. If you have not checked out the Canvas teacher app yet, that's one of the later tips we're going to focus on in this training series. But the Canvas teacher app also lets you easily send messages to students and entire classes should you need to. So to access my messages here, I click the inbox button and it will load all of the messages that I have. It shows the number of messages in that thread. That's what this little black box and the count number is. Um, I can star and favorite messages. So they show up in a separate area of organization for me. And that's basically over here where it says inbox. I can go over to these different ways of filtering things. Submission comments are basically whenever my students submit an assignment and if they add a comment, onto that assignment. It organizes their comments here for me to see as well. Uh, so it's a way for me to get to those without having to actually open up the assignment if I would like. And it's the same on the teacher app. I can get to my unread messages here and see only those versus every single communication piece that I've had. I can look at my sent messages, my starred messages. If that's a way that I want to remind myself to respond in case I don't have time at this exact moment to do that. Right here, I can see all of my messages from my different courses. So I can filter by course if I want. I can filter by my favorite courses. I can do however I want to get to the messages that I need to. If I want to compose a message, I have a couple ways I can do that. But I also can search by user here. So if I know I send a message to a particular person, I can search for their name here. Or if I know they sent a message to me and I can't quite find it, I can find it there. The way we have Canvas set up right now is that you will get an email notification by default anytime a student sends you a message on Canvas, which means that technically you don't have to open Canvas to respond to them. If you reply to them in our BCSE Gmail account on that Canvas inbox notification thread that you get, if you respond to Gmail, it will still get to the student in Canvas. So you don't have to open Canvas to respond. If you open in your teacher email, it's just another way for you to communicate with them. So they are integrated. If you don't want to get an email notification for every time something comes up in Canvas, you can personalize that and that's just going to be under account and notifications. You can set that up however you would like. But the beauty of that is that you don't have to open up your email every single time if you don't want to. Um, but you can on here because technically you could. So if I click my pencil button here, this is how I start a new message. And the cool thing about Canvas messaging is you have more options and how you can send your messages as well as the content you want to include with them. With its learning, you could do text, you could add links, and you can upload files, but you could never record audio and video within its learning messenger. But now you can on Canvas. So I could select a course to send it to all of the students in that course. I could select individual users here if I need to. Technically speaking, you have to be enrolled in the same course as a user to be able to message them, or you have to have special admin rights to be able to message anyone in your school building just to type in their individual name. And if you have questions on that, please let me know. Like if you are trying to message a particular student and their name isn't popping up, I can look into that for you. But if I wanted to message a whole class, I could select that class here. I can send it to individual students in that class if I want, all the teachers, I could go however I want, give it a subject. I would want to select send an individual message to each recipient. Otherwise, it opens a class group chat, which you probably don't want to do. So I can type out my message here. Right, so I can attach you know, like the study guide resources I'm talking about right here if I want. This will allow me to add attachments saved on my computer. If I want to add other files on here, I can record audio and video and add those as well, or I could upload media. So up to me on how I want to do this. I don't technically have to send a text-based 
message to my students. It could all be audio video if I would like. The students also have these options when they go to respond. So they can add attachments, they can use audio and video to respond. This is something they could all do on the Canvas app as well. So I just press send, my students get the message, and that's how we go from there. If I want to organize my messages here, maybe delete a few things, uh, I can select the buttons, uh, the little check boxes off to the right here, and I can delete those messages or archive them. If I archive them, then they won't show up at the top of my message thread anymore. So unlike our former tool, you could never delete or really organize your messages, but you can on here. I can even mark some as unread. So, you know, if I read something, but I don't have the chance to respond to it quite yet, but I know I need to go back and do that. And I know if, you know, I see it as unread that I'm more likely to, I could mark it as unread. I can easily go back to that later on. So those are just some of the examples of how you can leverage the Canvas Inbox tool to support your students and give multiple ways to communicate with them along the way.